Good morning, good morning from the beach. It's kind of a rainy day, so we relaxed this morning, had a fabulous breakfast, and now there's a slight drizzle, but we're walking on the beach anyway. Um, maybe we'll pick some shells. All right, see ya. Yesterday's pelican is gone. Oh, but actually, from someone's request, they asked us to pop a man of war, so... Pop! <laughs> that was a good pop. <laughs> we are walking along Palm Pano Beach Pier. Really pretty. Here we are walking along the pier. You can see the ocean background. So some people caught fish. So it's really neat. And there are people fishing. And you can see these. The water is such a gorgeous aquamarine. It's a great contrast between the black sky. You can see them coming up there. It just moves it too fast, I guess. Pelican, as opposed to last night's dead pelican. Sitting out in the rain, waiting to catch some fish. Probably waiting to catch the fish that's already sitting here. All of the water from the roof is like, yeah. Well, I don't know. Let's see if we can dry them up and what we can do about this. Yay, positive Kostya. So just some glimpses of a few choice properties on Bay Street. A little bit of rain you can see in these puddles. A little bit wet out today. So this one coming up ahead is one of my favorites here. Actually, this whole block of like three houses are actually pretty amazing. Across the street, also not so shabby. one's for sale, but I might almost be embarrassed to live in that one if my neighbors have such mansions. So these are all, of course, beachfront properties, ranging from two to ten million dollars. The ones that are currently for sale, anyway. It's a cute little one. This side of the street is more expensive.
this white one that they're building right now is going to look really amazing when it's done. some nice secondos. So we found a trail that goes along the uh, Pampano golf course so we're just riding around here now. All right see you around. And you can see here off in the distance is the airfield. So it's a cool little um, airport. A bunch of small planes with big Ed, you can see we're approaching the hangar which stores the Goodyear blimp. There are only four of these blimps in the world, three of them in the United States. One is right here in Pompano Beach, the other in Ohio, and the third is in California. The fourth blimp is in China. So you can see here we've approached the blimp base. He found horses. They really stink. Ooh, there's a huge black cat on the roof. Neat. Well, these are all stables here. Yeah, there's a big one right here licking his butt. And a big black one back there. <laughs> so, we're at a marina and we are pelican chasing. So there's one on the boat here, there's a whole bunch in the water. So yesterday, of course, when I didn't have the camera with me, they were like so close and all over the place. I guess there are fishermen here that are cleaning their fish and they throw it off the boats and uh, then all the pelicans come and scoop up the fish that's left over. So let's see how... Whoa, scared away. How about you? How about you? Getting ready to fly? Getting ready to fly? Thinking about it? Thinking about it? There you go. Oh, they're all over here on these poles. There's a big daddy. Pelican. Oh, they know they're going to get fed. They're waiting. Look at all the birds down here. It's like feast. Here's the drawbridge in Pompano Beach, Florida. <laughs> Going to the grocery store. The grocery store here is called Publix. Sell We're headed to our hot yoga class and it's straight across the street in this pretty building. I think so. I think if you can surgically fine tune individual countries within the it's hot yoga and it's a really great, hard, and fun workout. Growing up in Pompano Beach, Florida. 
growing and using coca leaves is illegal in the United States. They're all going to take me. But Hey everyone, good evening. It's our last night in Florida, so we are going to go out and check a place in Fort Lauderdale. What is it called? Las Olas Boulevard. Las Olas Boulevard. So, it's supposed to be a fun place, so come on and check it out with us. And it's still super breezy outside, so I'll show you what I'm wearing. I have on a little leather jacket and under that is a white and black dress with little belt and shoesies. Thought of the moon through my sunroof. Well here is Fort Lauderdale at night. bars, street music, and some shops. Dirty Blonde Sports Bar. Shopping, cafes. shopping center, the Ritz-Carlton. And that concludes Fort Lauderdale at night. It's really a shame that the, uh, the camera here is not catching the waves in the background because they are so close, well maybe a little bit, so close to the road it's incredible. Here's a cute little place called Howland House. Alright guys, so that was our day five on the beach, so have a good night. We're going to be uh, hitting the hay soon, and join us tomorrow where we will be getting up bright and early to see the sunrise, maybe collect some more seashells, and get a head on back home, and we also have a surprise tour. Alright guys, well have a great night, and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.